What is up YouTube? It's me John Avenger once again and welcome to another video. Ah, I needed a nice uh, sip of water. I was uh, really parsh. Anyway, this is going to be one is uh, a, a tribute video and also uh, my thoughts on reboots, remakes, prequels, sequels, and you know continuations of franchises or anything that I've been that I've loved and grew up as a kid and you know as an adult what do I think of that about you know adaptations today and such but first I want to say a rest in peace to a certain actor that was in the one of the Star Wars prequels I know this kid got a lot of flack when when he did the movie I can understand but I never hated him I know you know the prequels were very very uh flawed but I want to give this actor his final, you know, goodbye, and it was sad that I never met him, and that was little Anakin Skywalker, Jake Lloyd. Yeah. A lot of people did not appreciate him as when he was around, and this kid got death threats, and he got a lot of shit from critics and a lot of shit from fans of the original trilogy saying that, oh, he's one of the worst things to ever be in a Star Wars movie. Believe me, he's not. I mean, was he a flawed version of Anakin Skywalker, yes, but in a way, I related to him because I was a young boy once, and I used to say yippee and everything, you know, when I was a little boy, so. But he just died. He passed away at the age of 26. He was found dead in his hotel room. It's just depressing to see what happened to him. Death has taken another young actor from us, just like Heath Ledger back in 2008, and Jake Lloyd, man, rest in peace. I know a lot of people gave you shit when you were alive. I never hated you. I know a lot of people did. You were not the best child actor of all time, but you still you still left us with something. There are child actors I've seen on Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, and Cartoon Network that left no impact at all. They didn't do anything as on the caliber of Star Wars. But, you know, Jake was in one of the biggest movies of all time. I miss him. I will never see Jingle all the way the same way again, and... Phantom Menace is going to be hard to swallow now. People think Jar Jar is the worst thing and he's the worst thing. No. Seeing the fact that this kid got so much flack and it led him to depression and just an untimely death is just, it's it's depressing. And uh, I got to give a toast to him. I'm sorry, Jake Lloyd. I'm sorry that you had to go through so much when you were alive. Believe me, I was picked on as a kid, so I know. But this is not about me. This is about you. Rest in peace, sir. 26, I'm so, it's, I'm so sorry that this happened. So, cheers. Anyway, that's uh, my thoughts on, you know, Jake Lloyd passing away. I, 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 it was really sad for us Star Wars fans. I know he wasn't the best, but it was still a loss, you know, and a loss is a loss in the Star Wars universe. Anyway, uh, on that note, I want to talk about the things that have been happening in Hollywood, you know, recent reboots, prequels, sequels, spinoffs, and continuations of films that we you know, grew up watching, and then they just want to bring it back to a new audience. I don't think this is necessary, Hollywood. I know every movie, uh, every successful movie you want to make a sequel to, that worked, and that worked. But I'm sorry, a sequel to, like, you know, so something that doesn't need a, a sequel, or do, a sequel done incorrectly, like they're going to do a hard target sequel without Van Damme, and it's completely pointless. It's going to be just be a remake instead of a sequel. That's not necessary. A reboot of Ghostbusters, not necessary. I love the original film. I love the second movie. I love the 80s cartoon. It's a popular franchise. And you didn't need to, you don't need to, oh, let, let's make it politically correct and make it all women. It's not that I'm against women being in the Ghostbusters. My thing is, even if it was four guys, I would still not care because it's not the four guys that I grew up with. And it, to me, it's pointless. They should have done an, a, a third movie in the 90s or in the early 2000s when Harold Ramis, you know, before he passed away. Now that he's gone, there's no point. Don't care about this movie coming out in June. Uh, prequels. You don't need... They want to do prequels to The Hunger Games. I don't need it. I already had four movies that I thought were awesome. You don't need to do a prequel with any characters. It's done. Leave it alone. Stop remaking movies from my childhood. I don't want to see Beauty and the Beast remade. It's going to be remade anyway. I mean, technically, the 1991 film is a remake. 
but it's an animated American version of a French film. So that, to me, is excusable because, you know, the original is a black and white French film from 1946 that, you know, not everybody can get into. Trust me, I'm not a big fan of foreign films, but I love the, the Disney film from 1991. You don't need to update it for a new audience because the last time they did that was 2013. They did some shitty TV show of Beauty and the Beast. It was a reboot of the 1980s show with Linda Hamilton, and that failed. Why? Because it's just a Twilight ripoff. See? We're tired of it. Stop remaking everything, and stop rebooting everything, and stop with the freaking, oh, we have to make a universe. That's, that's another thing that they didn't mention on uh, YouTube recently, that uh, also, not every franchise can become a cinematic universe. Star Wars was already a universe before that even existed, before it was cool. And Marvel has done it successfully because they connect every film. There's Easter eggs in each one of them, and the connection is there. DC is also trying to do that. I hope they succeed, but, you know, the odds are two to one. Who knows? They're either going to pass or they're going to fail. But also, you know, they want to do like a, a cinematic universe for Transformers. They tried with Fantastic Four, and that failed. They're trying to do that with Men in Black and... 21 Jump Street, I heard. You know, it's just trying to merge everything together. I'm like, some things should just be left alone. You don't need to make everything into a cinematic universe. It doesn't work for everything. It worked for Marvel because they know what they're doing. It worked for Star Wars because that is a universe in its own right. But not everything needs to be merged together and, and you know, create this cinematic universe. A film should stand on its own two feet. That's why movies like The Ice Pirates that I saw back uh, last year was not, it wasn't a remake or a prequel or a sequel or a reboot. It was its own science fiction movie. And I'll be talking, I'll be reviewing that movie in, in February, show you how awesome it was without being rehash. That's another thing. They also want to do, you know, movies that they want to adapt everything from books and comics and freaking novels and. A, 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 uh, you know, a cartoon or a TV show from way back in the day. That's why Man From U.N.C.L.E. flopped. I disagree with Filmmaster Adam Adam J. He said Man From U.N.C.L.E. was an underrated movie from last year. I didn't even bother with it because I, I enjoyed the TV show and I don't think the show movie was needed. I don't like Henry Cavill and I avoided it because of him. But, you know, taking things from my childhood like The Honeymooners and Lost in Space and all these other shows, they don't work now. I'm sorry. They, they, you know, trying to remake everything and, and, you know, trying to rehash nostalgia, it doesn't work anymore. You know, some things I can handle, you know, the Easter eggs in The Force Awakens that, you know, a lot of nods to and winks to the original trilogy didn't bother me. It was other things that bothered me. Uh, but, you know, don't recycle anymore. You can recycle stuff like this, a bottle of water, you know, when it's empty. You don't re have to recycle plots and... And other things that were done better and just rehash them and make them shittier. Especially things that are that are just done for the money. Like they have that stupid, you know, agenda like, oh, this made a lot of money when it came out in the in the 80s or the 90s. Let's remake it and, and let's just make it shittier. Yeah, because that really helped the Robocop remake and the remake of Total Recall and the remake of Fright Night and the remake of every other remake that has come out. Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh... The Hitcher, Halloween, it's just, it's just a cash grab, and it's done. When a franchise is done, you don't need to run it into the ground. They did that with the Paranormal Activity movies for the last, like, six years or seven years since 2009, after the Saw films were done. It's done. You don't need to make a franchise go on too long. That's the, that's the way it is, you know? It's just, I'm sick and tired of this. I wish Hollywood would just come up with something original that will make money. Because there always is something like that. Look at The Martian that came out last year. That wasn't a remake of Interstellar or Gravity, and it made a lot of money. Sometimes it doesn't work, because uh, Ex Machina did okay, but it, was, it, it wasn't, you know, the blockbuster that they hoped it would be. And also Edge of Tomorrow that came out two years ago, and it did nothing at the box office, because people were just kind of like, you know, I guess fatigued with Tom Cruise, I guess, I don't know, but... You know, and even then, it's a rehash of, of uh, Groundhog's Day, just in sci-fi action, that's all. And, you know, just stop with this rebooting and, and re-uploading re stuff, you know, and redoing things that were already done better. You can't do better than what was done in the past.
You can't make a better Ghostbusters film than the 1984 film. You can't make a better RoboCop movie than the 1987 original. You cannot do a better version of a TV show that was done well the first time. You can't reboot it and say, oh, it's fantastic now. No. A new uh, generation doesn't give a shit about the stuff from now. They usually, especially like, you know, like adaptations of stuff that came out a long time ago. Just go see the original. It's always better. I'm a kid I'm a kid that grew up in the 80s and I can embrace the past for what it was, the present for what it is, and the future when it's done right. Things that are bright in the future, not this crap that is gets regurgitated like bad like like a really bad, you know, stomach virus, you know, just no more Hollywood. We're tired of this. There's a reason your remakes are flopping. There's a reason that people are, you know, are getting tired of it and they want to just go back to the past and see some original stuff. I watched a lot of original stuff this year. I've seen movies on YouTube that I never seen before or heard of and they're better than a lot of the mainstream stuff that gets regurgitated in the theaters today. And that's the bottom line about that. So anyway, this is a longer video. I didn't want it to be two minutes. So uh, give me your thoughts. What do you think about this reboot, rehash, remake, uh, you know, prequel, sequelitis that Hollywood has? Uh, you know, what do you think? Do, do you think it should stop or should it keep going? I, I think it should stop. Just make something original. Make sequels only to stuff that we are interested in. Don't make a shitty sequel to a movie that we liked a long time ago. And it was completely for nothing. And even and even your agendas failed because they tried with Hops Up Time Machine 2 and it made no money. The first one was good and then the second one came out and made no money because it was just rehash and no one wanted it. So, yeah, that's my thoughts, my opinions. Anyway, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, thanks for commenting. And I will see you in the next one, hopefully on a lighter note because, you know... I'm going to see Legends of Tomorrow tomorrow night, and I'm going to give my thoughts on that. So stay tuned for that. Later.